Let me show you how to design a poster in Adobe Photoshop. You can download the images from the link in the description below. Set the size to 2000 by 2400 pixels and the resolution to 150 dpi. Go to adjustment layer and choose levels. Let's make the background a little bit darker. Follow these steps. Go to adjustment layer and choose hue saturation. Let's remove the saturation from this image. Again, go to adjustment layer and choose hue saturation. Click on colorize and let's set the color to red and adjust the saturation a little bit. Hold shift and select all of these layers and let's group them together. I will rename the group to background. Now drag Ronaldo's photo to Photoshop. Let's remove the background by going to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. Now go to adjustment layer and choose curves. Click on this icon to only affect Ronaldo's image. We want to make this image a bit darker. You will see why in a while. Click on the mask. Choose the brush tool. Make sure it is a soft round brush. Set the opacity to 100 and reduce the fill. Set the foreground color to black. We are showing the highlighted part of the image. Take your time to show those light part of the image. So basically we have used curves to make this image darker. And now we are hiding parts of this curve layer using the mask. Try to show the highlighted parts of this image. Take your time to show the parts where you see the lights only. You can support my channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. If you have any questions, write them below and I will try to answer all of your questions. Here's the before, here's the after. Let's adjust the curves a bit and make it lighter just a little bit. Now go to adjustment layer and choose color balance. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. We will adjust the midtones and add a bit of red. You have to try to play around with these colors to make it match better with the background. Also adjust the shadows and highlights. Here's the before, here's the after. Hold shift and select all of these layers and let's group them. Rename the group as you like. Now let's get the electricity shape from Illustrator. You can download it from the link in the description. Press Ctrl T and let's adjust it to the position of his body. Follow this process. When you finish, press enter. Add a layer mask. Let's choose the brush tool and let's hide the extra parts from this electric shape. Follow along. Now go to adjustment layer and choose hue saturation. Turn on colorize. Click on this icon to only affect the electric shape image. Let's make it a bit red. Again, go to adjustment layer and choose levels. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below. Let's make it a bit brighter. Hold shift and select all of these layers and let's group them. Rename the group as you like.
Fold Alt and drag to make a copy. Let's hide this part of the electric shape. Click on the mask. Use the brush tool and let's hide this part only. Press Ctrl T, right click and choose Flip Horizontal. Adjust its position to the body of Ronaldo like this. Follow these steps. Hold Alt and drag to make a copy. Press Ctrl T and adjust it accordingly. We will do the same thing for the rest. I will speed this process. You can support my channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. Now let's add some light behind Ronaldo's image. Create a new layer. Drag it behind the image. Make sure the foreground color is white. Choose the brush tool. And let's add some light like this. Follow along these steps. Now let's darken parts of the background. Create a new layer. Choose the black color. Follow these steps. Reduce the fill a bit. Now choose the top group layer. Press Ctrl Shift Alt E to merge all layers. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and choose Camera Raw Filter. Let's adjust the colors and style. Follow along these steps. Here's the before, here's the after. Now let's add the text. I have already done that. I will show you the fonts that I have used and the effects that I have done. This is the font that I have used here. I added an outer glow layer style to this text. Here are the settings. This is the font that I have used here. If you have any questions, write them below and I will try to answer all of your questions. And here I just added a rectangle under the text. This is the final result. You can download this PSD file and all my PSD files from my YouTube channel from Patreon website for a small monthly subscription. Check the link in the description.